Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, ever since Jonathan Hickman left the X-Men and the X-Office, kind of took his whole uh, House of X, Powers of Ten, Krakoa era story, uh, which he said he had kind of a three-act plan for, and a definitive end, and then uh, basically the X-Office, it kind of grew and grew, and the X-Office was like, hey, we're making some money off this, let's never let it end. And Hickman's like, all right. And so he said some nice things in interviews, uh, in part because he wants to keep working with Marvel, and in part because Hickman does seem uh, like a guy who doesn't uh, just just bulldoze everything that comes before him. Um, he uh, they, he basically said, hey, you know, they changed the ending and that's okay with me. It's better than I would have done, but I'm getting the F out. And uh, But I'll have a new project with Marvel at some point. So the first project that he did, of course, was this uh, Marvel Infinite uh, book with Wolverine that kind of came and went, a different type of storytelling, um, sure. But then people were waiting for what's the actual next book. And uh, then they started promoting that he would be doing something with Valerio's uh, Skitty. And we got a uh, mysterious series uh, that's coming in 2023, but very little um, information beyond that. Well, at uh, New York City Comic Con, uh, we got more. I mean, we, we now know what he's up to. So um, Hickman is Skitty doing uh, basically this, this, this new kind of trailer that says, what happens when the powers that be meet the natural order of things. And uh, first, you know, front and center is Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange, uh, some sketches there, and then there's a number of other characters that are uh, in this entire mix uh, that are that are part of this this uh, this trailer, uh, this these promos that have come out. But uh, absolutely, uh, we're looking at this uh, this new project that that features Doctor Strange as kind of the main character. But then we have a handful of others, including what certainly looks like the Ultimate Nullifier and uh, the In Betweener. Um, that were part of, if you remember, the series Vengeance that a uh, friend of the channel, Joe Casey, did quite some time ago. Um, certainly those uh, those characters look like they're part of this. But in short, it looks like Hickman is going to start to step into the magic side of the world of the Marvel Universe. And this makes sense. Uh, magic and multiversal things. Hickman is somebody that, you know, m almost more than several of the other writers that Marvel have seen come and gone over the years, if you remember that, uh, Marvel Council of Writers that they attempted to kind of wedge into the uh, the whole um, you know uh, Kevin Feige um, MCU kind of world it blew up and uh, arguably when uh, Feige kind of came to take more control over Marvel that was the beginning of the end for people like Joe Quesada Bendis had gotten out earlier um, headed over to DC but um, Hickman was somebody that they liked over there and you saw a lot of Hickman's influences in the Infinity series for Phase you know, two and three, certainly in the, um, you know, the Black Order and, and Thanos and kind of a lot of those things. You saw a lot of what Hickman kind of set up as part of all that. And now you're seeing, uh, it was referenced a lot in the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. You, you're hearing them talk about incursions, other things from the uh, whole new Avengers, his Avengers run as well. And uh, hell, the, the last movie in this phase six is going to be Secret Wars, which is undoubtedly going to look a lot more like uh, Hickman's Secret Wars and a lot less uh, like, uh, you know, the original one, uh, with shooter, but, uh, th so, so Hickman's very much somebody that, that, you know, Feige and the movies seem to trust, seem to want to draw influence in and a big part of the MCU that's been, I don't want to say floundering, but they haven't really gotten their handle on it is Dr. Strange and his magic. They've tried a number of pieces to it, but it's kind of all over the place. We also have this video game that's just about to launch kind of imminently, called Midnight Suns that is also kind of delving into the magic side of things. And you put all these things together and clearly Disney Marvel wants to you know, make a lot of money, get some, you know, an anchor into magic, kind of the more supernatural uh, piece and, and, and basically be able to serve up more kind of valuable IP that they can license, that they can take to movies and do all of this stuff. So putting all that together, uh, it, it certainly feels like we're about to get uh, a, a great number of, of pieces with, you know, would Hickman do this one, you know, just one comic, one and done? Probably not. Um, at San Diego Comic-Con, Hickman said this new project would, uh, had, you know, had been in his mind for several years and that it was basically Sandman for the Marvel Universe. Sure. I mean, those are, that's a popular thing to say when the series is about to come out and Sandman's one of those uh, clearly, you know, is, is one of those, um, uh, you know, critically acclaimed things a lot of people like to reference. But if you look at these characters, um, 
you know, maybe one of these is Clea. It's hard to kind of say, but again, this uh, this one character, it's all in white and gray. Certainly, absolutely looks like the Ultimate Nullifier character, the character that has the um, you know two face looking uh, kind of um, look looks like the in betweener. Again, may or may not be. Who knows? But definitely has a lot of these elements to it, and and we're seeing kind of this uh, uh, these pieces to to really go big into Doctor Strange. Uh, so that's that's what I think we got here. Um, we'll see, um, but it it has the definite feeling of you know heading into that area. So it's taking a step back for a moment. Um, in you know, in theory, I'm more excited about this one than some of the other things that uh, have done. Well, I really enjoyed House of X: Powers of Ten. The second they started announcing a ton of other writers to it. And if you look, if you uh, go way, way back, one of the first interviews this channel ever did was for Brian Edward Hill, and this was right before uh, his series Fallen Angels launched. You can hear kind of even in that interview what would become the things to worry about in terms of kind of the the growth, the uh, kind of the how the editorial was stepping in, the idea that this X office was going to get built with a lot of different voices, and start to take away from the vision of one person into kind of this amalgamated. Uh, best or, you know, depending on your point of view, worst of all parts. So in this case, if we're doing something a little smaller, um, then that would be great. And if we're letting Hickman kind of say, hey, why don't you take a smaller corner of the Marvel Universe and maybe one that's uh, less likely to be just kind of bastardized by lots of different people wanting to put their hands in it, in which case the magic side of the world, that's, that's in theory something that, that at least I have a lot more optimism is uh, could be done right and done purely on the negative end of things you know this is also a place where hickman could kind of run amok with some of the big concept ideas we'll have to see where it all plays out but um i i'm i i think dr strange as a character is someone who you know uh, donny cates had a crack at it jason aaron had a crack at it we've got jed mckay doing it now um it's it's it, i think mark wade actually had a run on dr strange there, there's it, it hasn't felt, it felt like, it's felt like a lot of attempts to put some, some of their A-list creators on it, but not a serious attempt to actually build something new, unique, and, and powerful. And with the movie being out, with Benedict Cumberbatch being one of the actors who isn't trying to flee out the door as fast as possible from the MCU, arguably he's got a couple other movies in, he's, he's clearly going to feature prominently into uh, Secret Wars and kind of the stuff with Kang and everything else, it would make sense. Um, it would make sense for Marvel to kind of, you know, establish their tone and what they can do. And certainly Hickman is uh, great at creating some new characters and some new uh, things that they can run out and license. So that's certainly where this appears to be going. Again, some uh, pretty interesting character designs from Blario. Um, interested to see kind of how it all plays out. And um, let's see. I, I mean, the curiosity is going to be with... Uh, you know, it kind of cuts both ways. Will the people who loved Hickman's, uh, you know, Krakoa era, uh, but the Krakoa era kind of went in some other kind of random directions, will they naturally want to come on board for this? Or will the people who, you know, wanted to see Hickman, liked Hickman from Fantastic Four and Avengers, who, you know, didn't enjoy the kind of crazy uh, Krakoa side of things, are they going to come on board or something that feels maybe a little bit closer, a little bit more controlled, are they going to be into it? I don't know. Um, I'm interested to see where it goes. Uh, one thing you, you always got to say about Hickman, he does uh, put some thought into pieces, and if he's going to really kind of flesh out this universe and put some you know, some real new things that could be adapted, I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes. Also interested to see that if you know the movies, if the MCU is going to lean on things like incursions in a secret wars, at what point, is Marvel going to go, hey, those, that, that whole incursion thing that we did, that was back in you know, 2013, 2014. We're, we're going to need to uh, resurface that. So let's, uh, let's, let's bring that back up again. If you, if you think, oh, no, there's no way they could do that kind of universe-destroying plot, how would, they, how would they bring that in? I mean, I, I have to remind you they're doing a, a Secret Invasion sequel right now because there's a Disney Plus show coming out. So I think what Disney Plus and the movies do, the comics follow. And so... I, I feel like they're going to be tapping back into that before long. Anyway, let me know what you think of all this news. Like and subscribe, of course. Let me know if you're going to be buying it, ignoring it. What do you think? 
At what point does uh, Hickman bring Teeny Howard into the mix? That we'll find out. Thanks for listening. <laughs>